Okay, for our second video for Apple Classroom for the iPad here, I want to show you how we are going to, again, lock student devices or view screens. And again, it's very similar to uh, what we did for Apple Classroom on the MacBook. So again, we can uh, tap the little icon with the four circles here, and that will give us a small minimal view of student screens. Um, again, we can tap on each individual student and view their screen in full size if we want to. Um, if you wanted to select a different student, view their screen. And again, this is real time, a little bit of lag, slight lag there, but you can see as they move and change screens that it changes um, in real time with them. So that's how you view screens, again, individually or whole group there. Again, to lock screens, you can simply go ahead and just tap the three dots and tap lock devices. And you'll see that it actually locks on the student's devices. When you're ready to unlock them, just simply tap the three dots and click unlock. And you can see that it unlocks the student devices for them. I believe on the student Mac, when you lock and then unlock the device, it does force the students to log back into their device again. Um, so just a note to them that they will have to re-enter their Mac password once you unlock their device to get back in. But that's how you can lock devices there. Again, you can also just simply go into each individual um, device right there and you can just simply click lock and you will see that it will lock the device and then when you're done just simply click the unlock panel lock and it unlocks their device as well. But there you have it, viewing screens and locking devices on Apple Classroom for the iPad.